We're following this breaking news story, a school shooting that has taken place at Sandy Hook Elementary School in Newtown, Connecticut. We are learning new details. I want to bring in Meredith Artley. She is managing editor of CNN.com, and she just spoke with an eyewitness who was inside of the school. Uh, I have to warn our viewers, I understand that uh, some of the details about what she actually witnessed is pretty gruesome. Um, Meredith, what did she convey to you? Hi, Suzanne. Uh, she conveyed to me that uh, she was in a she was in a meeting this morning. She said it was around 9:30, 9 9:35, and she uh, there were about seven people in the room, and it was a meeting regarding um, one of one of her kids. She has uh, children at the school, uh, and she volunteers at the school as well. And she heard uh, she described it as a pop 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 in the hall, and they all heard it. There were about seven people in the meeting room. They heard that sound in the hall. And they, um, she said three people went out into the hall. And to hear her describe it, she said uh, three people went out into the hall and uh, only, one, only one person came back. And she said that she cowered under the table during that moment and uh, called 911, as did the other people in the room. Uh, she said she never saw the shooter, um, that she was, you know, she was under the table, that the shooting happened in the hallway. And to hear her describe it, she said that there was, there must have been a hundred, a hundred rounds. And I, I, I asked her to clarify that. I said, really, truly, a hundred rounds. And she said, she said at least. She said that, uh, she said that there was confusion. There was yelling, and uh, uh, understandably, she said there was yelling in the hallway, and uh, she couldn't, uh, she couldn't tell for a while if it was the police or the shooter. Um, when I talked to her, she was still inside the school. The school's on lockdown, so she she couldn't tell. Um, uh, she didn't know if the if the shooter uh, was uh, uh, dead yet or still there. She said, "Listen, this is a, a this is a nice town. Uh, this is a nice school. Uh, these are the kinds of things that don't happen there." She noted this was not some high-powered meeting. It was, you know, about my about one of my children who was in second grade there. Um, and uh, she's, you know, she's uh, tearful. She's, uh, you know, just an understandably panicked. Um, and she said they marched at some point. She, I don't have the length of time, but she said at some point after the shooting, they marched us out uh, in the hallway um, right past the, the, the two bodies um, laying in the hallway in a pool of blood. How long was she in that room but when she heard those gunshots before there was silence? Well, she said she was there at, she said she got there at 9, or she said the meeting started at 9, 9.30. She said that she, she feels like it was right at the start of the meeting. So she said around, you know, 9.30, 9.35, they started hearing the pop, pop, pop in the hall. And it sounds like uh, she, she knew what it was. I asked her, I said, you know, a lot of people don't know that that's what they're hearing, gunshots. And she said, no, we all, we all knew that, that, that there was something was, you know, being fired in the hall. And three people went out. And, and only one person came back.